your entertainment will be transformed. Ah, weep, grog, na, weep, ninny bong, my fellow addicts. This is TFA 1024, the Transformers Addict, coming to you with the last review of 2017. It is the big event that you have all been waiting for this whole week. The Transformers Combiner Wars Platinum Edition Entertainment Earth exclusive, Lyo Kaiser. Now, you know, right off the bat, you're looking at it, they're not combined, what are you talking about? Well, true. But I would like to go a little bit more in-depth with these guys first. If I'm to be completely honest about these guys together, in including this freaking thing. Ion Scythe. I am still honestly a bit disappointed at the fact that we did not get Jaguar. Or Jaguar? Jaguar? I can't remember. I can't pronounce his name properly. All I know is he was a dude that transformed to like a an assault dragster off-road vehicle of some kind and he had a jaguar head and a breast animal that transformed into a uh, jaguar and we also did not get a proper leo zack but upon looking and watching transformers victory uh leo zack actually would have been a deluxe i'm just gonna say that right now he would have actually suited a lot more as a deluxe as opposed to being a voyager because deathsaurus the middle guy here was actually incredibly bigger than all the other Destrons, and even Lyokaiser stood up to Deathsaurus in combined mode, and it was just, its a, I now understand why they went with that a bit more, and I do appreciate Hasbro for doing that, because they're paying attention to scale and how they would stand us, you know, next to their leader, so I do appreciate them for that, but I also appreciate them more for somewhat homaging the characters who were not in this set on to Deathsaurus's color scheme, and that's what makes this set all the more unique and special to me personally. I still would have thought that a Jaguar exclusive would have been cool, like redo it from drag strip, just kind of give him like a missile launcher and make him look a bit more off-road-esque, but it was not to be, and as I mentioned previously with Leo Zack, I think it would have been more suiting if he was a deluxe, because he'd be standing right next to everyone, despite the fact that he is the leader, he is the same scale as everyone else. And another thing I would have liked to see from Takara or someone out there who would be willing to do this. I would love to see Death Cobra because he didn't really get that much screen time, but he was a dude who transformed into an Apache helicopter that's named Death Cobra that had a Cobra as his helmet that could also combine with Lyokaiser. Easy Alpha Bravo remold, I'm just going to say that. But... Out of all of these, you guys know my opinion. I chose the weakest figure to the strongest figure in pers in in terms of like actual character wise, how much I like them. These guys are all great. I absolutely love each and every individual figure here. Their vehicle modes work, their robot modes work, and they're just great additions to your Decepticons. But we ain't ended the review yet. Oh no, 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 no. We still gotta combine them. So with the magic of stop motion, let's go ahead and take the Destrons from looking like this. To unleashing the Breast Force Combiner within. And I'm just gonna say it. I love this! I have waited to obtain Lyokaiser for a year. And now that I finally have him in hand, I can properly give him the appreciation that this figure, let alone this set, let alone the individual figures, deserve. Because while they are nothing but a bunch of repaints and remolds with 
very, very slight differences amongst the original molds, I will say Hasbro did take some very good creative liberties and managed to replicate the characters from Transformers Victory into toy form. That is why I appreciate this. That is why I appreciate Hasbro. Because what other company would really go ahead and do something like this before anyone answers that? That's a rhetorical question. Don't answer it. Hush. I'm just speaking on my personal behalf. This set is incredible. I love, love, love the way that this guy turned out. I don't care if he doesn't have the proper cockpit chest and everything with the wide wings sitting out, you know, elongated, like, in diagonally. It, it just, it, that doesn't, while that is the traditional Lyle Kaiser look, and you can kind of rectify that by, uh, taking this whole section here, just kind of flipping all this around, and, like, folding that out and rotating the head just a little bit, and then also kind of, like, tucking the chest in. You know, you can kind of do that, flip everything backward, and that works. Um, this thing droops, unfortunately. No no inappropriate jokes, please. I, I know what you guys are doing. Get your heads out of the gutters! What's wrong with you? This is a kid's show! Then you get the idea, you can kind of rectify that, and... Give him that more accurate look. You just kind of rotate everything else around, switch some limbs, and that works for the most part. But I'm okay with the way that this guy turned out. I'm okay with the fact that he is nothing but a Sky Rain repaint in torso mode, and then all the other guys are nothing but repaints. But they pull it off a lot better than the other guys. While I will admit and be honest, you know, the Combaticons with the Brawl mold, they nailed it there. Honestly, even if it looks like a brown turd on treads, it works. Skydive Mold and Air Raid Mold, as Guyhawk and Hellbat respectively, they fit. And while I gave Deathsaurus so much crap in his video review alone, that's mainly because my inner fanboy being like, It is wrong, it is how it looks, it don't look right here. And I do appreciate the fact that they homage Jaguar and Leo Zack in Deathsaurus's figure just by adding their colors. I really do appreciate that. That's a little touch that makes me appreciate the set more. And I already took the liberty of giving him his weapons and everything, so you can take the two Skylink's blades and merge them together to make a sword, and you can also take Ion Scythe and give him, like, a hilt, which is pretty cool. And then you can also take the other two blasters, the two black blasters, give him a cannon, and then you can take these guys down here. Fix your wing, buddy. Fix your wing. There you go. You can take the other two guys back down here, and you can just kind of give them some, like, knee guns, which is pretty cool. But, yeah. I'm just, I'm, I'm ecstatic. I'm, I'm flabbergasted. I love this set so much. I really do. I really, really like the way that this set turned out as a whole. The colors somehow manage to complement one another. They somehow work in, like, this uniform. Like, this is basically what the team would look like in, in, as a combiner. I mean, this is how much they look like in the show, but... This is like the ultimate epiph not epiphany, the ultimate uh, symbolism of teamwork. Honestly, this is th that's pretty much combiners for you. It's all about teamwork, and this Lyle Kaiser pulls it off. Uh, and now, according to the bio, this these are all like a bunch of convicts and everything that escaped from like prison, and they you know perform some really nasty crimes. So to know the fact that all these guys and their mentalities are merged into one single sentient being who still has the ability to kill you in many multiple different ways. It's just awesome. It really is just amazing, and I really do appreciate Hasbro for doing this set. Just thank you from the bottom of my heart, Hasbro. I don't think you'll ever watch this, but thank you so much. Really love Lyle Kaiser. It's absolutely amazing. Now, I'm not going to point out the articulation, because unfortunately I'm working on a small limited amount of time, because my iPad only allows me 15 minutes. But I will point out the mechanisms for the articulation, because if I try to go through all this, we're going to be here a while. So basically, it's mushroom pegs, hinges, ratchet joints, forward and back rotators, in and out rotators, swivels, pegs and ports, and uh, hinges. Unless I already mentioned hinges. You pretty much get the idea. It's your typical standard combiner articulation, and it works. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to get a lot of comments already. Oh, the thighs and everything are transformed wrong. I know. It's just meant to give him his skinny, tread-looking sideways legs, and I think it works pretty well. So, there you have that. Now, for a quick size comparison, because I got to, 
And this is also another Christmas gift from someone. Is Trypticon. Is big bad boy Trypticon. Look at this. I'm going to tilt you up just a little bit, guys. Look at that. Expect a video review of him in 2018. And here he is next to the Titan's Turn RC. And for another further size comparison for a Voyager size, here he is next to the Wei Zhang third party hound. So, yeah, Lyo Kaiser. I love him. I love him. <laughs> I really, really like this set so much, and I'm very grateful for it, and I'm very pleased, and just, oh, I'm ecstatic to have it. So, this is pretty much just going to be me gushing for the next few minutes, so how about we end the video review, shall we? But I will say this, overall thoughts, the colors work, the articulation is amazing, the individual figures of the set are great to each of their own different ways, the weapons are pretty cool, I like the fact that they, some of these figures actually have, like, different ways to transform, like, their ears for their head animal, or their helmet animal. I think that's really cool. I really wish we would have gotten, like, um, breast animals and breast stars. And, yeah, that's... Apparently, they're also called breast stars. I don't know why. I really would have liked that. And if Takara ever does do Lyo Kaiser, I really hope to see a proper Leozak, Jaguar, and maybe a Death Cobra. Because I think that would look amazing. So... Anyway, bots and fembots, I think that's pretty much all there is to say in this. So this has been my video review for the Transformers Combiner Wars Platinum Edition Entertainment Earth exclusive Leo Kaiser! And I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. I also want to dedicate these video reviews thanks to my good buddy, The Night Gamer, a.k.a. Caleb, for hooking me up with this guy a few weeks ago as an early Christmas slash late birthday gift. Thank you so much, dude. These video reviews are all for you. These are all dedicated to you, because without you, I would not have this set. And with, if I didn't have this set, I would be a very, very sad Transformers addict. And I greatly do appreciate this. And if you want to go pick up this set, to any of you out there who want to, uh, I do believe he is on Amazon for roughly about $77 right now, so if you want to put down the money, pick him up. While he is not a necessity to your collection, he is a beautiful addition to it, and plus you get five new Decepticon characters to add to your Decepticons, as well as another combiner. So pick it up if you want to. Anyway, with all that pretty much being said, that's pretty much all there is to say. So please be sure to like, comment, share, and of course, subscribe. Because this is the only channel where your entertainment will be transformed. And if you want to contact me in any way, shape, or form, look me up anywhere on social media, and I'll reply to you all as soon as I can. But with all that being said, my fellow addicts, pretty much all there is to say. So, please remember... Until next time, to get addicted, stay addicted, and TF Addicts for life! This is TFA1024, the Transformers Addict, rolling out till all are one.